Jack, Seven Circles, Jonathan. Quick drop in. I own a company, right? And I'm having a hard time building my company, a hard time keeping employees. And it's it's hard. It's hard. Now, before this, I was a chef, right? And um, manager at a lot of different high class restaurants, etc. And one thing is that, you know, when you're a manager, it's always, always hard. A leader, it's always hard because you have to maintain the highest degree of discipline at all times because as we say the camera is always rolling and the tape recorder is always recording so it's like the, what however you act that's the way your team is going to act and especially if you're dealing with the public the way that you treat your team your team is going to treat the public and then it's going to come back on you it's going to reflect in your metrics and things of that nature i'm saying all of this to say it's because um you know, when we look at the world, we look at the political arena, we look at, you know, um, everything that's happening in the world right now. A lot of it is really, really to a high degree. And I know you guys know what I'm saying. I don't want to go into details. Um, but we all want to change the world in some type of way. I think most people do. I don't say we all do, but most people want to change the world in some type of way. Now, this sounds cheesy because Gandhi, right? Be the change that you wish to see um, in order to change the world, right? But let's go back to a company. When when you're when you're when you own a company, when you're running a part of that company, aka a manager, a leader, etc., right? And you have to maintain that discipline because you know that the company is going to be a reflection of you. Um, how do you change? Like who makes who makes the best presidents in a company? Who makes the best CEOs? Who makes the best executives, etc.? The ones that just has this high degree. So that goes in direct correlation with what. You know, Gandhi was saying, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. Because what is a company? A company is a group of people that have a common goal and interest, and they're all working actively towards that goal. And other people have different positions. Some people have, you know, the back position. Some people are just tightening the bolts. Some people are doing the paperwork. Some people are leading the way. But they all have a common goal on where they want to go right and that's what a company is was well, the same thing with an organization right it's the exact exact same thing but let's expand that and let's look at the country when we look at a country when we look at a rural it's the exact same thing that we have a, a group of people that are going in a common direction now let's, let's just stick with the country because mainly countries have their you know the way that a company has its mission statement a country has a mission statement as well too and they have an anthem we have the american anthem and they have all of these traditions and things of that nature and you know that's in a nutshell that's what makes a company a country or a company but a country in this case that's what makes it up so there's a lot of stuff that's going on right now and i don't like it and i know you guys don't like it and i just got uh, a reading from my sister i post the video pretty soon but it's quite interesting and she was telling us what to expect for 2022 well, what I'm saying is that we don't need to worry about them. We don't need to worry about them. We need to focus on us because if we can change and if we can be disciplined, then things are naturally going to shift and change around us. Things are naturally going to shift and change around us. And we focus on us and don't focus on them and they, right? Because we always talk about how they're doing this, they're doing that, they're doing this. We focus on us. That doesn't mean don't go and file lawsuits. That doesn't mean don't, you know, uh, sign a petition or, or do certain things. It means primary, right? Primarily focusing on you. I say the rule of the 80-20. 80, 80, mainly focus 80% on you and then 20% on the things that you can change. What is that prayer? God grant me the serenity to uh, change change things that I could change. To um, I, don't, I forget I forget the name of it um, and how the, the prayer goes, but I think you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, but it's a it's a powerful prayer, and I and I think that's to be considered right now. I think it's called the Serenity Prayer or something like that. A lot of people use it when they're getting sober, doing this uh, sobriety and things of that nature. Um, yeah, but I, that was just on my mind, and I just wanted to put it out there. Let's focus on us in this 2022. Let's really, really focus on us. Um, let's focus on the unity. You know, I've been boycotting news, you know, religiously for a good 
four or five months now and I've been feeling really really great especially in comparison to last year the news will take your energy apart it will rip it will suck it will you know drink and eat your energy that's what it does man so just stay the heck away from it let's focus on us let's focus on this unity let's focus on when we see people on the streets that we smile we say hi let's not be afraid to do high fives handshakes hugs and you know just embrace one another knowing that ultimately right ultimately that you rip apart the flesh you rip apart whatever the muscles and all that other stuff that you know down to the itty gritty man we're all the same thing we're all the same spirit we all want the same thing one thing that's universal is a smile one thing that's universal is happiness universal is love you know we're all striving to either take care of our families take care of ourselves and we want essentially the same thing so with that being mentioned i love you so much i appreciate you supporting the channel my name is jonathan really really hope you guys have a great day great week great month great year and a great life until next time peace